So let's look at the following example that deals with magnetic fields that are produced as a result of current in a long conducting wire. So suppose that two long straight wires are placed parallel with respect to one another and lie a distance of 15 centimeters apart. So we have wire number one and wire number two that are parallel with respect to one another and are separated by a distance of 15 centimeters. Now, the electric current in wire one is 12 amps and runs in the positive direction along the y-axis as shown by the following current. Now, at the same time, the current in wire number two runs in the negative direction along the y-axis and is given to be 16 amps. So an electric current of 12 amps runs in the positive direction and an electric current of 16 amps runs in the negative direction in the second wire. We want to find the magnetic field midway between our two wires. So we want to calculate the magnitude and direction of our magnetic field at a point 7.5 centimeters from either one of these wires. That is midway our two wires. So, let's begin by recalling the magnitude of our magnetic field that is produced as a result of an electric current in a very long conducting wire. So, the magnetic field, the magnitude, is given by this equation. So, mu naught divided by 2 pi, which is our proportionality constant, multiplied by I divided by R, where I is our electric current inside our wire, and R is our distance, the perpendicular distance from that wire. So this gives us the magnitude of the magnetic field due to a very long straight conducting wire. Now what about our direction? Magnetic field has magnitude as well as direction. So we have to apply right hand rule number one to essentially determine what the direction is at this position midway our two wires. So, let's begin with our magnetic field as a result of our I1 found in wire 1. So we take our right hand and we orient our thumb in the direction of our electric current and we wrap our hand around that wire so that our thumb points in the same direction as our electric current. So that means for this particular case, we have to wrap our hand in the following direction and the direction of the curling of our fingers will point in the same direction as our magnetic field due to the electric current in wire 1. So that's going to look something like this. So it's going to run in a counterclockwise direction. Now we apply the same exact rule for the second wire, but now we have to flip our hand because our thumb has to point downward. So we see that now our magnetic field as a result of I2 is also a concentric circle but it points in the clockwise direction. So if we examine the top to bottom view of this diagram we see something like this where this is our wire number one and the dot simply symbolizes that the electric current is coming out of the board while this is wire number two and the X symbolizes that the electric current current is going into the board. So notice that the magnetic field B1 that is produced as a result of I1 in wire 1 points this way and at the same time B2 the magnetic field produced by I2 in uh, wire number 2 points in the same exact direction. So vectors B1 and B2 point in the same exact direction. So when we calculate the total total magnetic field at this particular point midway between our two wires, we simply sum up our two quantities. So B1 plus B2. Now, 
from this equation, we know B1 is equal to this. Mu naught divided by 2 pi multiplied by I1 divided by R, where R is half of this quantity and I1 is simply given to be 12 amps. Now this B2 is mu naught divided by 2 pi times I2, which is 16 amps divided by R, which is the same exact value, it's simply half of this. So let's take our constants out so we get the following result mu naught divided by 2 pi r because r is the same for each case multiplied by i1 plus i2. So mu naught is simply a constant, it's the permeability of free space which is equal to 4 pi times 10 to the negative 7 teslas multiplied by meters divided by amps divided by 2 pi multiplied by half of this which is 7.5 centimeters. Now we need meters so we divide 7.5 centimeters by 100 and we get 0.075 meters and we multiply that by the sum of our two electric currents. So the electric current in wire 1 is 12 amps and the electric current in wire 2 is given to be 16 amps. So that gives us a total of 28 amps and we multiply that by this ratio and we get about 7.5 times 10 to negative 5 teslas is our magnetic field found midway our two wires which have electric currents which run in opposite directions.